What are we drinking to? Nothing. I am at a bar preparing to get drunk. You are suddenly in my proximity, but that does not mean we are drinking together. See how you feel that way? I was a judgy little bitch to you earlier, and I'm sorry. Brooklyn, I know why you're not picking up, and I apologize. It's not up to me whether you work things out with your family. I just want you to know that I take back my ultimatum. Okay, my couch is yours as long as you want. Just call me. Bye. Mr. Corbin. Detective. Word on the street is you are no longer a person of interest in the Jason Morgan motorcycle crash. They told me that too. Did they tell you why? I thought you despised me for taking over ELQ and for being critical of your father. I had a minute to reconsider. As far as my dad's concerned, he never should have threw me out and slammed the door in my face. And the fact that you outmaneuvered him is his problem, not mine. Good to know. Why the change of heart? The crash was the result of a defective stabilizer, which you installed. They covered all this when they questioned me, before the case was closed. See, the manufacturer said they've never had a problem with that part. Why was Jason's bike the exception? No idea. Any idea why they closed the case in the middle of the investigation? <laughs> Maybe someone intervened, someone with influence, either at the PCPD or City Hall? I'd like to get started with my workout. Don't let me keep you. From what I've seen, you're a strategist. Someone who likes to move people like pieces on a chessboard. Not the most admirable quality, but at least unlike my father, you're not a hypocrite. Well, you're very kind. However, there are plenty of people in Port Charles who would consider me a hypocrite. My daughter's mother chief among them. Not like Lulu has any room to talk. That woman is the queen of double standards. Uh, Lulu assumes that there are two kinds of people in this world. Those who she approves of, very small group, and the rest of us mere mortals who couldn't possibly measure up. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I couldn't agree more. Must be a nightmare co-parenting with Lulu. Can be. I'm surprised you haven't asked for sole custody. I mean, let's face it, if you could take over ELQ, you could definitely outmaneuver Lulu Spencer. Well, we went back and forth, had our days in court, and I decided I was doing more harm than good to Charlotte, and so I stopped. Just like that? Just like that. Actually, recently I considered giving Lulu full custody of Charlotte. How would you do that? That's crazy. Because I love Charlotte. And my past poses a danger to her, but nothing like the danger of her becoming just like me. <laughs>